Okay, happy Thursday morning to you. We have one more day until we get to Friday, so get excited about that. Temperatures right now in the mid to upper 50s and low 60s. These temperatures are close to the dew point right now, which means there's some areas of patchy fog. If you are going north of I-75, I just checked this, it's about a quarter mile visibility north of the Tampa Bay area. So that's uh, definitely limiting the visibility, especially on the coast, around the Nature Coast, same situation. Down south towards Fort Myers, I did see a report of some dense fog there. Looks like that has now improved. But this fog, depending on where it is, uh, should burn off and mix out by 9 a.m. this morning. As far as our radar, everything looking very quiet on the west side of Florida. The east coast, well, there's some shower activity moving off into the open waters of the Atlantic. So once again, patchy fog for us on this Thursday morning. Weekend showers come into the area. We're down three and a half inches of rain to be exact 3.62 inches of rainfall since January 1st. That's how much rain we need just to make up uh, to get back to where we should be for this time of the year. But uh, looks like over the weekend some shower activity does come in. It's going to be widespread, but it's not going to be a washout by any means. Maybe about a quarter of an inch of rainfall. Some areas a little bit more than that by the time this is done on Monday morning, but any rain we can get will definitely take from Mother Nature. And then after that, a reinforcing shot of cool air comes in by early next week, and highs may not get out of the 60s. Now, it won't last that long because we are in the month of March, and our temperatures rebound pretty quickly at this time of the year, but still, it's going to feel a little bit like winter, especially when lows may drop into the 40s. On the big picture here, some snow showers tracking through the upper plains and into the northeast. Also, it's very chilly in the north. Only five in Minot, North Dakota, 25 Minneapolis. And these cooler temperatures are shifting eastward. And Boston over the weekend may not get out of the 20s. So it's going to be quite chilly for them. Not for us. I mean, temperatures are going to be in the mid-70s over the weekend for us. Next week, though, we'll get a little taste of that cooler air coming our way, but won't be like 5 degrees up in Minot, North Dakota. Thank goodness. High tide for today at 11.52 a.m., low tide at 4.47. The high tide once again will be at 10.12 for this evening. Sunset tonight at 6.36. If you are taking your boat out, looking like another nice day to do that, just like yesterday. Remember, for several days, uh, all the way going back to last weekend, those winds were really breezy, but that's not going to be the case today. Five to ten knots, and that's about it. Sea is just offshore, one to two feet with a light chop in the bay. Beach looks very good, partly cloudy skies, high 76. Today's high inland will be 78. Some areas could get into the low 80s. And here you go. Remember to spring your clocks forward on Saturday night into Sunday morning. We lose an hour, but uh, the weekend will be quite uh, well, rainy with the system coming in here. I think more rain will come in on Sunday, wrapping up on Monday morning. But as you can see, that shot of cold air comes our way by Tuesday. And then highs on Wednesday may not get out of the 60s. So it'll be a little bit chilly, but I think we can handle it, especially with looking at those temperatures up in North Dakota at 5 degrees.